The headquarters of the Restored Church of God is in Wadsworth, Ohio, on a campus of just under 100 acres. A key aspect of its design was for the physical environment to portray the beauty and harmony of God's way of life. Its three main buildings house the primary operations for the work of God today. The church was founded in May 1999 by Pastor General David C. Pack. Space was rented on the second floor of an office building in Wadsworth. As years passed, it became apparent that the church needed a dedicated office complex and campus of its own to fulfill what God had in store for it. In 2012, a parcel of land was purchased, which was only a grassy field at the time. A groundbreaking ceremony for the first building, the Hall of Administration, was held on May 10, 2012. This began a process of transformation for the property. One of the early stages involved excavating and reshaping the ground with heavy equipment. As construction began, it was inspiring to see the building progress, the foundation being laid, structure being assembled, installation of electrical work, an elevator shaft, walls, glass window panes, woodwork, and so much more. The building was finished extremely quickly and staff moved into the new facility by May 13, 2013, just over a year after first breaking ground. The lower campus lake and waterfall were also developed during this period. As time went on, additional groundbreaking ceremonies took place. Both prior to construction of the second building, the Mail Processing Center, and the third building, the Media Center. Much hard work was involved in completing these additional buildings. They were carefully constructed to serve the needs of the work in a host of specialized ways. A great deal of time and effort have been put into developing the campus grounds, which stretch for three quarters of a mile. Specialized gardens were designed and planted in strategic locations. A wide variety of trees were added, over 1,000 since the land was acquired. Irrigation systems were installed to ensure that grass, bushes, and other plants receive proper hydration. Wells were also dug to provide water for this purpose. All of these systems draw from underground natural springs located on the campus. This has been a tremendous blessing, especially during the hot, dry months of summer. The Landscaping and Grounds Department shows continual dedication in maintaining such a large amount of land. They regularly mow, trim, water, weed, and perform tree work. Local members also volunteer to help with certain projects. The Hall of Administration encompasses 40,000 square feet of office space. Many departments of the work function within this building. It contains beautiful offices, meeting rooms, and other shared spaces. After its completion, a formal ribbon-cutting ceremony was held on June 21, 2013, for those in the community. Mr. Pack delivered comments about the progress of the work, and attendees were given guided tours to see firsthand what had been accomplished. Officials from local and national levels of government were present to witness this special occasion. The meeting hall where weekly services are held is located on the first floor, as well as a classroom and administrative offices for Ambassador Center, the church's educational institution. The second floor is home to several departments, such as editorial and art graphics, which produces the church's three magazines, including The Real Truth, Church Administration, which oversees pastoral duties and support functions, also operates on this floor. Executive offices are located on the third floor, including Mr. Pack's office. Each floor on the north and south sides of the building feature towers. These were designed to showcase the surrounding property and are an ideal place to view the campus grounds. The church's servers and data center are stored on the building's lower level as our workspaces for technology-based departments. The Mail Processing Center encompasses an area of 12,000 square feet and is home to the Mail Processing and Print Services Departments, which handle in-house print productions of the church's books, booklets, articles, magazines, and other literature. 
They manage all outgoing mail for the church. Equipment for the landscaping and grounds department is also stored in the building. The Media Center houses the television studio of the world to come with David C. Pack program, as well as office space for media production services staff. All recording, editing, graphic design, and mastering for the program takes place in this 4,000 square foot building. The front gate provides an elegant touch for those who visit and leads to the two main roads of the campus, Ambassador Drive and Imperial Drive. Several staircases and pathways provide easy access to the campus's various landmarks. Uplighting was strategically added to illuminate trees and other features of interest. It enables passers-by to see the campus's grace and grandeur, even at night. Birds, animals, and other creatures also enjoy the environment. Various types of wildlife can regularly be seen on the campus. Since the campus is situated in Ohio, which experiences all four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter, it takes on a unique look and feel during each of these times of year. In late 2013, additional land to the west was purchased. At the time, Mr. Pack gathered all staff for a fence-cutting ceremony and delivered comments about the importance of this land for the work. Among other purposes, the property is home to the Agriculture Education and Research Institute, or ARI. This specialized program focuses on restoring true values in agriculture, health, and fulfilling man's awesome potential by following God's principles. A pole barn was built to serve as a base of operations for ARI. In addition, a community garden program was offered to local members, providing them an opportunity to put the teachings of this program into action. More recently, additional development took place on the upper terrace. A pavilion, gazebo, sports field, and two new lakes were completed in 2015. These locations will be used for various events and socials throughout the year. As additional updates are made to the campus, a group known as the design team plans and coordinates these projects. Employees create graphic renderings and computer models to help the team visualize what the changes to the campus will look like before physical work begins. A particularly striking area of the campus is the South Valley, which was acquired by the church as adjacent homes were purchased for headquarters ministers and their families. After substantial clearing and removal of trees and various debris, this hidden gem has become stunningly beautiful. As of this production, Ambassador Drive is being extended into the upper campus, where future development is planned. Under the guidance and blessing of God, with time and much hard work, what started as an unimpressive field of grass has become a place of beauty and majesty. The World Headquarters campus has allowed God's work to surge forward in ways that would not have been possible otherwise, providing a beautiful environment for staff to work in, an area for church members to congregate, and those in the community to view and experience. The campus shines as an example to all, a biblical city on a hill that cannot be hid. Through the work of the restored Church of God, the gospel is being powerfully preached and many millions are hearing the truths of God. To learn more about the restored Church of God or to find a local congregation, please contact us.